When you can do that, they will automatically credit you with the solution. So the big question is, what are the top agents doing to absolutely crush it in real estate, grow their teams and add more transactions year over year while so many struggle? If you ever thought about this, you're not alone. No one has been able to get the answers until now. We spent the last few years helping agents sell billions in real estate, rubbing shoulders with top producers, which got us thinking. How can we expose more people to these insights to help raise the standard in the whole real estate industry? We then realized that we could help bridge the gap by getting secrets from the best of the best so that you can succeed. My name is Andrew Dunn. And my name is Peter Michael. Welcome to Elite Agent Secrets. From the scalability to marketing, we've touched on this a little bit, but that is a big proponent into where you're just talking about the scalability. Because when you have the great yeah. inbound marketing, these things spill, one spills over to the other and vice versa, 360, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, sorry, so go what, ahead. yeah, it's, it's going to be, I mean, we've been touching on it already, but I was going to say, you know, let's dump, jump into like, tactical stuff as well with regards to like inbound mm -hmm. marketing. You know, let's talk about what you're doing, what platforms you're using, what you're finding the best results with, but kind of, you know, something that people could go away with and, um, you know, look into. Yeah, for sure. So, so whenever we're talking about inbound marketing, it always comes back to human psychology, right? And the idea that people make decisions emotionally before they make them logically, right? You can be the number one agent in the market. If somebody doesn't like you, they're not going to work with you, right? So there's an element of, and you, you mentioned this earlier too, polarization. You know, I, the, the way to look at this is you would rather have a thousand people who love you than a hundred thousand people who really couldn't care less. And that's really where evangelism comes in. You know, you don't get, you don't get repeats and referrals from people because you've, you've dropped by at the right time. It really comes back down to how was your service? Like, how was the service? Was it streamlined? Was it exactly what they needed? And from an audience standpoint, are you giving tremendous amounts of value? So we usually break, like we use not a nine point psychological journey, but if I'm going to condense it and make it simpler, it falls into three buckets. It's authority, personal, and social proof. And so authority is going to be things that give you credibility. It's going to be talking about your signature system or your signature process and what you do for your clients. It's going to be pains, pain problem type content where people feel like, oh my God, like you get that person's head mark nodding. Really good marketing is just being able to articulate what's in the back of someone's head better than they can. When you can do that, they will automatically credit you with the solution. So this all comes back down to, are you creating your marketing in a vacuum? Or are you actually doing market research? Are you going out and are you speaking to the people who you're trying to attract so that you're sure that the marketing is coming from like an educated place? Um, it can be like things like, you know, like, yeah, I, I, I'm always careful about saying this because so many agents do it badly, but like, re, like tips and tricks, right? Educational type content. Um, not, you know, you know, things that are going to like PR, PR, media, you know, things like that, 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 that really helps with authority. Now, personal is going to be things like personal beliefs, personal philosophy, personal story. And that is where people are going to resonate with you as a human or as a brand, right? So instead of, you know, hiding everything else about your life, about, you know, who you are, about your kids, about your dog, you know, it comes down to like, what, what, what kind of a story are you trying to share and what parts of who you are are going to resonate with the target demographic that you're going after, right? what you want is, is an element of celebrity and you can create that element like approachable celebrity. You don't want to be Brad Pitt. You want to be the kind of celebrity that someone can come up to in a grocery store and say, Oh my gosh, I feel like I know you. Right. And, and it does that you don't have to air all your dirty laundry in order to do that. It just comes down to, are you actually sharing the, the behind the scenes? Right. This has done massive, like this has been super, super helpful, even for the people's businesses who are on like, like real estate reality TV shows, because people get to see them behind the scenes and who they are outside of the job. And that actually really does help from a, from a resonance standpoint. Yeah. Makes you relatable, right? A hundred percent. Right. And people buy people. They don't buy, you know, like they buy brands, they buy people, they buy feelings. Um, 
And then your third one is going to be social proof. That's not just li- that's not just listed just solds. That's not I have business, therefore you should give me business. It's case studies, testimonials, and PR falls into this as well, right? Where you know you're getting third party validation, but it's not look at me, look at me. It's you know being able to show people that you've helped them through other people through that same life transition. Case studies are super underutilized and they're super powerful right? HGTV as an entire network is a network of case studies. Whether you want to live the Caribbean life, love it or list it, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, that entire network is based on you living vicariously through the people that you're watching. And a really well crafted case study for on social media in an ad in a lot of different, in a lot of different ways, even in an asset, can make a huge difference where someone's like, oh, I actually understand better what you do. I'm in exactly the same situation as, you know, Sally. And, you know, uh, you know, these are all the things that I'm worried about. And, you know, I see that you've already helped someone do exactly what I want to do. There's an element of trust that comes just from being able to see that. Right. A hundred percent. I think being um, relatability I know we're going to actually touch on this later, so I'll try not to go too deep, but it's huge. It's oh, yeah. um, sharing. So a lot of people find it hard. Uh, and to be fair, I'll definitely throw myself into this bucket for the longest time to kind of mix like personal and like what I do with like my business of like real estate, right? And it's that crossover yeah. that somehow feels it, like to me, it almost felt inauthentic because I was like, no, I'm using social, I'm using marketing for selling business and then, uh, you know, selling real estate, you know, business and all that stuff. And then it's like, actually, it's also about my personal life and stuff. And then what I, I came to terms with and realized was actually me sharing my life and what I kind of do, me, it means people who actually enjoy necessarily the other things that I do, what I'm involved with and all that stuff are instantly more attracted to me, like straight away. Yeah. A lot of people don't really yeah. care. And then very few are going to be like, no, I really hate that. I mean, unless you just hate racing cars, right? Which is basically what I do. Um, unless you're, you know, like, yeah, racing cars shouldn't be allowed. You hate me, but that's a good thing because then we don't get on. Um, but I think, you know, just go back to inbound market. I mean, these are uh, uh, like psychology is amazing. I love, I love breaking it down to three. I think the three are important. I do also think the tips and tricks one's interesting how that gets done wrong um, yeah. so often uh, because I yeah. think what people, Okay, here, here's a little tidbit for everybody. You can give all your secret sauce away, like we do on these podcasts. Like, just come on, all our previous guests, all our future guests will literally tell you exactly what to do. Go out, you know, launch this ad, go to this video, watch this, do this on Facebook, whatever it's going to be, and we'll jump into that in a sec. It's like 99% of people, if not more, don't do it. They just like listen and they absorb and listen and absorb. But what the 1% that do will get the result, which is, what we're, what we're really focusing on here is helping the 1% get the result. Obviously, a lot of people will listen totally. and that's great. But like the reality is we get the biggest kick is when people message us and like, oh my God, I got listings from this strategy that, you know, Brad shared or, you know, I built a Facebook group like that's Will. That's really why we do what we do. Yeah. You because we know this stuff works. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just execute against it. So let's do, so are you using mainly Facebook or are you using YouTube or, you know, what are your preferred channels for the marketing side. Yeah. So, so I find that every platform works, right. And I, and, and I think that there's this, there's this thought process of like, you know, oh, I have to be, it has to be this platform. It has to be that platform. Um, we do use a lot of Facebook only because it tends to have the broadest audience. Um, but uh, you know, one of the, one of the key things that we always talk about and that we ask is, okay, so depending on the demographic that you're targeting, where do they live? Right? Like online, like, are they, you know, if, if you're working with upsizers, then, you know, maybe you need to be on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. If you're working with downsizers, like, like, where are these people going? If, If you're specializing in, you know, corporate women in New York, you need to be on LinkedIn as well. Right? Like there's going to be different platforms in different places that are really crucial to making sure that this actually works. You can't say, I want to work with downsizers, but you only put content on TikTok. Right, 100%. Right? Yeah. 
So it really comes down to, it's not really about you or about the platform. It's about making sure that everything, like everything that you're putting out there is geared towards and the decisions that you're making in your marketing are, are geared towards who you actually are trying to attract. That's a great point, actually. I think one of the big ones we've always looked at with agents is, for example, some people just don't want to be necessarily on video or stuff. So they'll uh, ear away from, say, YouTube, for example, where it's like they just don't want to be a content yeah. when that's when Facebook can be better because you can just use images and stuff like that. So I think it's a great point. I think you go where your market is and that's the, the real answer. But I do think, you know, face, everyone in every market, Facebook covers every market. And to be fair, Agreed. I think Agreed. YouTube does as Agreed. well. I think it just really depends mm-hmm. on your level of comfort with the type of advertising you want to do. I I like my opinion is you're probably going to get better quality from YouTube, but it's also more work. Like it's a lot more work. A lot more work and it's It's a slower build build and it's more work, but overall you'll get better quality. Facebook is wham, bam. You'll get it now. You might have to sift through a little bit more stuff, but like it's tomorrow. And like, I think that suits the majority of agents far more than the former, right? So, Hey, thanks for listening to this episode. Now, before you go, we're giving access to a private training we did where we revealed the top three niches to get listings today completely for free. So if you want access, you can go and download that training at EliteAgentSecrets.com. We're regularly releasing new trainings, guides and cheat sheets so make sure to head over to eliteagentsecrets.com and sign up so you don't miss out